Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over one of our new inventory units we just got in last week. This is a 2021 Logan Coach Bullseye two horse bumper pull. If you watched my video last week, this isn't the same trailer. It's very similar. There's a couple differences, but overall it's going to be pretty much some of the same options we put on all these few differences. Here at the front, we just have your standard. It's a standard manual jack. You do have your breakaway brakes, safety change, two and five eighths coupler, and your brake cable. We can upgrade this to an electric jack if you want that, or if you have a trailer at home that you'd want an electric jack on, we can do that for you as well. Another thing I want to point out is this isn't just slick extrusion. Below this extrusion, it is diamond plated the whole front to protect against rock chips coming up from your truck or some road debris coming down the road as well. Coming around the hip side of this trailer, it's pretty standard. We do have your just front tack here. Cool thing on these front tacks, so we started doing windows in these front tacks. Just help you if you can open those up, you get airflow running in there, you're drying blankets out, you're drying bridles out. You're not getting that humidity build up in there and that steam on cold days when you throw hot blankets in there. Below that window, you do have a brush box holding sprays, brushes, medicine, anything you need to hold going down the road. It's real handy to have that in the door, not have stuff rolling around inside there, having to carry totes around the haul stuff. It does have a two tree swing out saddle rack. It runs on a gas piston, so it's pretty easy. You just start pulling it and it kind of pulls itself out. There are four adjustable posts on this tree. So you can set these two wherever you want, or you can order more, more posts from Logan through us, or if you have a trailer you need more po posts for, you can order them for your, through us. You can just put them in here however you want, or you can fill them up. And again, it's super easy. Inside as well, you do have a swing out blanket bar. So when your saddle bar is swung out, here, I'll show you guys. You can swing your blankets out of the way. You have all this room right here for your grain, you know, boots, stuff like that. Maybe a tote if you're carrying down the road to throw your boots in there. You can kind of swing everything out of the way and get yourself the full room in there to use. In that back corner, we do have your spare tire. The next set spare tire is your breakaway battery box. In that battery box, it powers your breakaway brakes. So if your trailer ever comes unhooked going down the road, that box will activate and lock up your brakes on your trailer so your trailer will continue to roll down the road at highway speeds. It is a fully carpeted behind your bridle hooks up top. It's really nice to fully carpeted because if your bridles are hanging there and you know they're sliding and banging going down the road, they're not scratching up your partition wall or anything like that. You also notice there is a hose up there. That hose is for this 35 gallon corner water tank. We like to put water tanks in pretty much everything we order. Sometimes we'll have a few that come in without them. We like to order them because we figure people are going down the roads. More often than not, I mean, you're going to water your horses. And more often than not, it's kind of hard to find a place to get water if you're not at a fairgrounds or if you're traveling long distances and need to stop every few hours. Another thing I want to point out is you'll notice this whole partition wall is vortex lined. Pretty much anywhere in this trailer you'll notice where anything can rub, touch, grind, scratch, it's going to have that vortex lining on there. That's just to protect that metal underneath there and kind of, yeah, it looks good, but it also adds to the longevity of this trailer as well. Here on your tail side, you do just have your standard bus windows. They, do, they are slide operable, so you can get some more air flowing in here for your horses. Up above your bus windows, we do just have a spot LED light. You flick that light on inside the tack room and you can saddle horses right here in the dark, water, feed, do whatever you need to do right here, have enough light to do so. You do have two tie outs on each side of this trailer, both this tail side and the head side. So again, your ties are right next to your tack room, right underneath the light. Real user friendly, this trailer. Down here, we are on two 3,500 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. So the trailer I did last week had aluminum wheels. This is pretty much gonna be the train, same trailer but with steel wheels. A little more price friendly, a little more, kind of fits this trailer a little better. But every trailer we try to sell here has something different on it. Every now and then we'll order two of the same trailers, but pretty much if you come get a trailer from us, you are gonna be a little bit unique going down the road as far as not having the same trailer as everybody else. Coming around the back, like I said, you'll notice anywhere something can rub on this trailer, it is vortex lined. Both these doors where you might have a horse button up against it going down the road, it's gonna be vortex lined. That way they're not getting scratched up. Your horse is kicking, it's not kicking bare metal, he's kicking vortex, so he's not tearing a bunch of stuff up. 
before I jump in, I want to show you guys the floor, talk about some things we can do. So this floor, it is just a wood floor. We can order them from the factory with wood. We can do an aluminum. We can do an aluminum with whiz proof. The cool thing is, is this wood is also vortex line. So it's going to be a lot more water resistant. The wood's treated as well. So I mean, it's going to last a long time going down the road. Another cool thing is if you don't like the wood with the gaps, you can do something called poly last, which is a permanent rubber fill they put in here. It still allows all the horse urine to drain through the floor and through the wood, but it's more of a permanent flooring. That way you're not pulling mats every time you want to clean the floor. It's just permanent. You never have to worry about it. So that's something we can do in this trailer if you wanted this trailer with more permanent flooring or if you have a trailer at home you want permanent flooring in we can do that for you as well so this trailer does have a telescope and divider the reason we do this telescope and divider i guess logan does a telescope and divider is because you'll notice if i want to shut these back doors and this divider is all the way out to where it needs to be these doors don't have room to close so what this telescope and divider allows is for you to slide this in if you want to run this going down the road and it'll close all the way and allow you to close these doors right here. But with it telescoped out, it locks in place right there. Real handy going down the road. They're real easy mechanisms to use right here. It's just a latch and pull system. Um, they are, dividers do come standard padded. Again, making it a little more comfortable for your horses going down the road. And like I said, you'll notice everywhere you see black on this trailer, it is vortex line. The whole front of the partition wall, all your support beams are going to extrude a little further to where your horses might be rubbing on them. Everything is going to be vortex line in this trailer, which I think is really slick. Jump up in here and we'll kind of run through some features from the front to back. All the stalls in this trailer will have D-rings. Those D-rings are if you want to put hay bags in here, we can put hay bags in here for you. If you got a trailer at home, has some D-rings and you want to put hay bags in it, we can do that for you as well. But up top, we do have your, you know, your two-way vents. You can either pull air in with these vents or pull air out. Or you can pull air in through one and pull air out the other and get fresh air circulating in here for your horses. So there are those air vents in one and two. You also notice there is a slight bow in this roof. The reason they bow these roofs instead of make them flat is because if they're flat, the water tends to pool up in there in between your seals or on your seals, and eventually it's going to start rotting, and you'll end up with leaks on the inside of this trailer. So by bowing it, rainstorms, anything like that, the water's going to run right off the sides and not rot at your seals up at top. Here on the hip wall, we do just have two spot LEDs. So again, going down the road, if you need to load horses, unload horses, just check on them in the middle of the night, going down the road, you can just flick a switch have some light in here to check on your horses or while you're loading them so you don't get in a bind if you can't see. Up top you do just have you know your license plate light as well as a spot LED. Cool thing is you'll notice where the doors hinge and shut as well it is vortex line so if them hinges are banging around and stuff it's still not going to eat at your metal because they vortex line pretty much everything on this trailer. Come around the head side, it's pretty standard. We have your two drop down windows. Cool thing I like about these drop downs, I always love showing people Logan windows, is because normally you walk up to a trailer, I know I talk about this in every video, and the handle's either way at the top or up at the side. People have a hard time tending to reach them. Cool thing about Logan windows, as long as you can reach almost the bottom of the window and just pull down on your lever, the whole window comes down. And then it's the same thing for your jail bars. If you can reach that middle bar, the whole thing will come down as well. They're real easy to use. You can pretty much run them one-handed. I mean, they're real slick. The cool thing I like about this trailer being 6102, I point this out a lot, is if you want to throw your halter over your horse's neck, run them up in there, you don't have to get in front of them. You can just come out here and stand on your running board, climb in, tie them, untie them. It's real easy to use, and it kind of keeps you safer, keeps your horse safer real cool system they put on those windows up top you'll notice there is another spot LED so if you do have horses tied down on this side you can check on middle of the night feed saddle do whatever you need to do on this side as well so again we order a bunch of these trailers this might look a lot like the one last week which is very similar with pretty much the exception of those steel wheels versus the aluminum wheels but if you guys are needing a trailer, I know Christmas is coming up. This could be a great last minute gift for a kid maybe. I mean, it'd be a really good last minute gift for a kid. But we do have a bunch of options here if you're maybe looking for something for the end of the year for tax purposes. 
or for Christmas or something like that. We have plenty of trailers coming in. But if you're interested in this trailer, stock number is 5N200978. And then again, it's a 2021 Logan Coach Bullseye two horse buffer pull. If you're interested in this trailer or any other trailers we may have, feel free to give me a call at 303 684 3400. Again, my name's Tanner. Thanks for watching.